Welcome to BMPCC4K.tech, the first tech blog dedicated to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. We're going to be doing a test today. We're going to be checking a generic speed booster against, which many of you do have laying around, the Blackmagic Cinema Camera's Metabones adapter. We're going to see sharpness, colors, is there any vignetting? Is there any distortion? And we're going to be working in Resolve today because what we found in order to unlock the true potential of the data that the camera's capturing, Resolve is hands down the best application to use for this. So anyways, we have the files now put in from our media pool. Now we're going to put them in our timeline. The first clip is the generic. That is the generic speed booster. The second clip here is the Metabones. So there's a quick look at the two. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to take a closer look to see what's going on here. See how much we could see with our naked eye. And keep in mind, this is just all film footage. So it's not graded. There's no LUTs applied. This is just raw footage. This is recorded at 4.1. We're going to take it in real quick to the coloring panel. And all we're going to do, because raw, you can adjust everything. All we're going to do is select clip and we're going to change the gamma to black magic design video. We're going to do the same for both. They're both getting the same treatment. Now we'll go back in. Now we could see that there's a lot more coloring now. A lot more coloring. There's the generic. And there's the metabones. Quickly we start to see there's a distortion and vignetting on the edges. The vignetting is really heavy and the lens is set at 24 millimeters. So now we're going to zoom in a bit and take a look. See what the difference, how much color, how much sharpness has changed between the generic, there's the generic, there's the metabones. There's not much difference to the naked eye. But in order to truly see now let's take a look at Spider-Man. See what differences are there. Sharpness, coloring. Remember, we're looking at pixel data. That's what's being interpreted here. This is raw footage. Those flowers look beautiful. But in order to truly, truly see, we're going to pull up this cool little thing here, the video scopes. We have RGB Parade. We're going to switch between the two. Do you see what's happening? In the generic, everything's lower, not terribly lower, slightly lower than the Metabones. The Metabones is bringing in more light, so more color data is being captured. It's not a significant amount. Remember, this is raw footage. So even the, 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 the ISO, all that can be quickly adjusted. Okay, now that you've already graded it, give it a quick grade, you can render out or transcode these files from a raw format. You can select, because I'm on a MacBook, Apple ProRes is available to me. I can export it in ProRes. Here's all the flavors of ProRes. My favorite is DNxHR. I can export it into this codec in order for my editor, Adobe Premiere, to be working with, in order for Premiere to handle it. Here's the generic speed booster, ungraded. There's the graded generic speed booster. Here's the ungraded Metabones. There's the graded. Anyways, folks, stay tuned. Make sure you check out our blog. You subscribe to our blog. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find us at www.bmpcc4k.tech. We'll have a lot more videos, news, tips, tricks, and reviews on this amazing, game-changing camera. Take care, folks.